Warriors are refusing to give up hope that missing teammate Sonny Fire will be found alive after he disappeared in the surf on Sunday night at a West Auckland beach. The team took part in a brief training session before resuming the search for the 20-year-old who got caught in a rip after rescuing his younger brother. Two days after Sunny Fire disappeared in the surf off Bethel's Beach in Auckland, the Warriors were trying to get their minds back on football, taking part in the closed training session. But their missing teammate was still in the forefront of their thoughts. We just thought it was important to come and do something today, so we uh, just had a short training session. and uh, It was a pretty good training session, I mean, when you consider what's, what's going on. And um, Sunny would be training too, you know, so that's why we wanted to train as well. The Warriors haven't given up hope of finding Fai, who went to rescue his younger brother while they went in for a swim on Sunday night. But with each passing hour, the situation looks more grim. Well, I think we all, you know, all, some part of us, you know, hopes that way, but I mean, it's, I, you know, I think it's fair to say it's fairly unlikely. Um, but, you know, I'm, he hasn't been found yet, so I don't know, I guess you can always hope. But while there is hope, the team is struggling to come to terms with Fire's disappearance. This is something, not something that um, any of us really got any experience with, um, so we've just had to kind of play, play it by ear and um, just sort of take each, each moment as it comes. The search continues at Bethel's Beach. Questions are now starting to be asked how an athlete like Sonny Fire could have gotten into so much trouble in the surf. But his teammates point out it doesn't matter how strong you are when you get caught in a rip. I don't care how strong a swimmer you are. I mean, the, the sea's got so many different things it can do to you. So, um, you know, Bethel's Beach is a, a very well-known um, treacherous beach. So, you know, I mean, there's plenty of surfers. Anybody would get into trouble there, whether you're a good swimmer or not. On the surface, the players seem to be coping. But Captain Steve Price showed a glimpse of the emotional turmoil when asked how he was dealing with the situation. Yeah, oh, not, not, not real well, but... All right. Yeah. Oh, thank you. The tears are certainly understandable when you consider how popular Sunny Fire was. Not only was the 20-year-old regarded as the next big thing in rugby league, he was also a good bloke and one that will definitely be missed. He was very infectious, um, very enthusiastic. He's um, a guy, a fantastic athlete, trains very hard, he's got a, a fantastic attitude, um, just a guy you love being around. Tim Wharton, Fox Sports News. Fox Sports News on Channel 513. It's on all the time.